Hello and welcome. As you can see by the title, I'm going to show you a quick way to speed up the process of downloading videos or music from YouTube, especially in large quantities. So in this video, we're going to use two main things. The first one, which is a Python script, and the second one, which is a tool you can download from GitHub, publicly available. So before proceeding, everything will be linked inside of this repository, which is accessible in the description. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to install Python. It's fairly easy to do. There's many great videos online. And the second thing is to download the packages, which is fairly easy, but I'm going to show you how to do it in the terminal. So now let's talk about the Python script itself. It has two main modules, first one which is a playlist parser and the second one which is a clipboard to file. The first one is just going to request you a playlist link and after iterate through every video and save every URL into a file. And the second one which is a clipboard to file, when you're going to copy any link into your clipboard is going to save into a file as we'll see after. So before proceeding, let me just show you how to create a playlist. You'll just have to scroll down, click on the three dots, click save and choose a playlist or create a new one. In this case, I already have a example playlist we're going to use. So now let's proceed. You'll just have to open the terminal in the directory. So if you don't have the open in terminal, you'll just have to copy the directory, uh, type in CD and copy paste uh, the directory itself. So in this case, we're going to check if you have Python installed, python-h and pip-h2. Uh, so as you can see, it's installed in my case. So now let's install the required packages, which is fairly easy to do. pip install piperclip, pip install pytube. And in my case, I already have them, so I don't need to reinstall them. So now let's use the Python script itself, python and YouTube utility. As you can see, if you don't give any uh, arguments in the command, it's going to print the default text. So in this case, dash H, which is for the possible inputs, and we're interested in the dash P to parse the YouTube playlist. So let's dash P, as you can see, I'm just going to copy the playlist itself, paste. So as you can see, successful, it created a text file. And here we have 32 videos, and here we have 32 too problem there so now let me just show you if you want to clear the file itself you'll just have to type in c and it's going to propose to clear the playlist url file or the clipboard url file in this case we use the playlist pl and it deleted it no problem there so just let's redo that dash p and oh, there you go so as you can see it's successful it's saved to a text file so in this case, we're just going to look into the second module and uh, move on to the second tool after to actually download the videos themselves. So now let's proceed with the second module, which is fairly easy to use too. So in this case, it's just a dash a s. So it started no problem there. It will normally contain a one link because we copied uh, just earlier the link to the playlist. So if you open it, as you can see, we have one link. So in this case, let's just close this and let's copy some of these links as you can see normally if we reopen it it changed yeah as you can see so now instead of having one link just before now we have five of them so if i copy even more and go back here it copied everything so i think it's fairly simple to understand and to use so if you just want to stop the the python script itself just Control c and restart the terminal so, okay, no problem, it's working, everything is working pretty much no problem. So now let's use the second tool, let's open it. And it's fairly easy to use too. First box, you're just going to paste every link you'll have. Here you can choose the directory where you want to save everything. Here you can choose the format you want. And in the options, here you can play with a lot of options if you want to. And here you can restrict file name to ASCII, which is just going to restrict special characters as Japanese or Chinese. And it's not going to save them with the special characters. And here you can choose the format, uh, the quality, the format. And in my case, I want to download them as a WebM audio file. And you, I'm going to just use Vorbis. So let's paste in all the links we have. Let me just open the directory where it's going to save. So in this case, we'll just have to click on add. No problem here. And save. Normally, it's going to download everything. As you can see, it's downloading one by one. No problem here. 
So as you can see, it downloaded everything. In this case, we have 32 items and the playlist contains 32 videos. So in this case, as you can see, it's fairly easy to use and kind of fast in my opinion. Uh, if you know how to apply it correctly, it's fairly easy in my opinion and actually can speed up a lot the process. So before finishing, if you have any questions or need any help, just let me know in the comments. I will try to respond to you. So the GitHub will contain everything, the links, all the packages you'll have to download and you'll have to just download the Python script itself uh, and normally the link will be either in the comment section or the description. Uh, as I said, if you need any help, just let me know in the comment section. I hope this helped you and see ya.